Hello again and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at this stunning BMW X4 M140i. This car was registered in June 2019. The car has only covered 13,309 miles with full dealer history. Now there's some really, really nice options on the car. One is the uh, Merino leather interior, which I don't think I've seen on any of the other X4s currently available. Now I'm gonna take you around the car, show you all of the extras on the car, show you the paintwork. Um, the car is absolutely immaculate, to be honest. And um, we're gonna start off at the front here. So all of the cars here are rotary polished, machine polished, and polished them with an orbiting uh, polisher, which takes out those sort of holograms, that sort of reflection that you see in the sun. And it gives you this really beautiful, clear, glossy shine. And the car has just come up so nice. I'm just trying to see if there's any little chips on the front, but there's, I think there's a couple of little dots somewhere. Uh, maybe just here, you might just pick them up in the reflection, but there is nothing, nothing bigger than a dot really. It's, it's really immaculate. I'll just bring you over the bonnet, but um, I can assure you there is nothing nasty on this bonnet. It is come up, it has come up, sorry, really beautifully. If we come down, we've got these lovely um, Icon Adaptive LED lights as well with some really lovely detailing inside the lens there. A really nice option to have on this car. So basically what the adaptive light will do, it follows the angle sensor on the steering wheel. So as you turn left or right, the lights will actually move to light the road up. And with adaptive lights, you also get the high beam assist. So there's a camera up in front or just in front of the, in fact on this one, it's got the connective drive. So it's got the two cameras up on the top there and it will, measure the light coming from the cars coming towards you or a lit up area and automatically dip your main beam. We've got front and rear parking sensors. We've got rear camera as well, but I just want to bring you in and show you the detailing on the front bumper. It's got a beautiful, sporty, aggressive look and there's no damage on it. And these beautiful grills are finished in a satin finish. You can just capture that now, as are the trims down here. And you've got the LED fog lights. And then back up, you can see how clear these lenses are on these headlights. There's no damage on there at all, as you'd expect of a car that's only done this mileage. The wing mirrors are also finished in a satin silver. And then just to top it all, so are the wheels. So just while we're here, I'm just going to show you down the side of the car so you can see the honesty of this car. It's all the panels are nice and true. No ripples, no ding dents in beautiful condition. I'll just bring you up and show you the wing mirror on this side. And then this has got the 21 inch wheels. So these are the 21 inch 718 M is the model of the wheel, and you've got the M Performance brakes in there, running on Pirelli tires, absolutely immaculate, no damage on the wheels. And then we've got the air vents, again, finished in the satin finish. Just gonna come back out, show you the side of the car. Really nice, sleek, a fantastic family car, a really good all-round car. You get the performance, and they don't drive like a normal SUV. They drive very much like a car, the X4. Totally different drive to the X3. The X3 feels a lot stiffer and upright. I know because I have an X3, or my partner has an X3. And uh, this has also got the adaptive suspension as well. So that softens the ride. The dampers are all adjustable at the flick of a switch. It can 
change the amount of fluid that goes from one side of the shock absorber to the other and give you a softer, more comfortable ride or a stiffer, more dynamic ride and more, uh, a lot more sporty. I'm just trying to show you all of the panels. Really lovely rear LED lights as well. This car is also fitted with the BMW dash cam, front and rear. You can just make that one out in the back there as well. Just looking at the back of the car now with those lovely twin exhausts and uh, really lovely sound. We'll start it up when we get a little bit further into the video. The left hand exhaust is valved. So when you initially start it up, it's using the driver's side exhaust. And then when you go over so many revs, I think it's about 3000 or put it in sport, it opens up both the, uh, the exhaust on this side. So both are open. And again, looking down the side of the car, just look how sharp. I don't think they look this good when they're new because the paint finish isn't quite the same. That machine polishing that we do brings the best out of the paintwork. And we have comfort access on the car as well. So keyless entry into the car. Uh, we'll also have the um, sway your foot underneath the, tail, uh, underneath the rear bumper and that will open the boot as well. Just bring you in and show you. So all the wheels, as I say, absolutely immaculate. We've not had to do any um, repairs on them at all. And there's the front one. Just come back. Unfortunately, the light today, now it's got on a bit, the, uh, the sun is a bit lower. It's going a bit yellow in parts, but try and give you uh, the best view we can. So lovely looking car. And these are rated at 348.7 brake horsepower. So they're gonna make 350 at least. BMW tend to underrate the power of the cars. Now on camera, the lever interior looks a lot brighter than it actually is. So, now this is the Merino individual lever. And it's a really beautiful interior. There's no damage on that door card. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system. Just look, it's like new. I mean, this car is about 62,000 pounds new with all these options. We've still got the protective blue film covering the door plates or the door plate on this side. All of the carpets, I mean, they are so clean. We've got electric seats there, bolster inflation. And the lovely red stitching Try and get that in focus. And I don't know if you can make that out, but that says BMW individual. So the BMW individual is a selection of um, options that you can have on the car that are sometimes either bespoke or handmade. Or these are hand stitched, I think. And the, the quality of the hide is at the top end. It's above Napa leather. They don't do another le uh, leather above this. So this is the top quality lever that BMW use. And it's just like new, it really is. I'm just gonna open up that glove box while we're here. All the books in there. And the lighting, you can change the color of the lighting, I believe as well. Let's we'll see if we can check that out in a bit. We've got extra speakers with the Harman Kardon. There are speakers underneath the seat, up in front of the iDrive up here. Just wanna try and capture every bit I can so you can just see 
just how lovely this car is condition wise. And all the piano gloss. Really lovely. And it's got, I think they're called Gal Galvonic. Um, in uh, I'll read it maybe <laughs> before I get it wrong. It has galvanic embellisher for controls. So I think that's just a different finish to, and that's more on here. The finish is a lot nicer than you usually get on the standard M140 X4. So it just sets it off, gives it a really plush look. Just check out the rear. And again, the door card, undamaged. Got the puddle lights at the bottom there. Got some really nice big size pockets in there for um, drinks, etc. The Harman Kardon speakers again, and again, all the black gloss, all of the door handles, and there's no scratches, there's no damage. If we look at the rear of the front seats, there's no scuffing on them. It's like new. And that's not an exaggeration, it really is. Now this little lever here, what that does is you can pull the back seats further forward. If I would just pull it. So if you've got something in the boot, you can just pull that slightly forward so you can fit something in. Or you can put them all the way down like so. And they sit pretty flat actually. On some cars, they sort of sit up at an angle, but these actually do sit really nicely. And look, no damage, no scuffs, no nothing. So bear with me while I just pull this lever and push that back in. That's the only way I can do it. So just checking out all the base of the lever. I will come round to the other side. We've got the fold down headrest in the center and this lovely pattern in the lever. We've got center armrest that comes down. I think there's a cup holder in there as well. And then we've got rear climate control as well, just down here. Obviously we've not got the ignition on at the moment, but no damage down there. Okay, so that's come round to the rear of the car. I've just got the key. So I've just swiped my foot underneath the bumper and straight away the boots come up. So this is part of the comfort access and you get an additional button up here so you can actually lock the car up from the back here with the padlock button. Now all up under here, again in really lovely condition, sorry about the light, I'm just going to come back down to here, top of the back bumper, there are no, <clears throat> excuse me, no scratches along there and even the aluminium trim, the brushed aluminium, no damage on that and the carpets like new and I know that's uh, quite a strong word to use with a car that's nearly three years old but it really is you've got handles at the back to release the back seats here we've got the extended storage which gives you little hooks if I just show you quickly for your carrier bags and then you've got a 12 volt socket there as well so you can plug in one of those little chiller boxes now, if we take you around to this side, we've got the rails down here that you can slide these little catches up and down so you can strap things down in the boot, stop them bashing about in the back. If we open up underneath here, again, really immaculate. Locking wheel nut there. It's so clean, just look under here. It's, 
it's really lovely. I'm really, um, really glad that we were able to get this car. And if we look all up here, this is the reason I'm showing these areas. We've got the other small speakers there. There's no scuff marks. This is where you get people try and get stuff in the car and they scratch it, they scuff it. This is all in beautiful condition. So if you're looking for a really nice example, I don't think you're going to go too far wrong with this one. It's lovely. Let's just come back and try and get you a, a view of the back of the car. So it's, it's come round to the passenger side. So always like to point out around the filler caps. See if I can just change the, there we go, the brightness. No scratches. The reason I show this area is it's obvious area to get scratched by, um, you know, fuel hoses, etc. And this car will run not only on E10, but E25 fuel. So future proofed for the fuels that will probably come out at some point in the future with a different, different uh, ethanol content or percentage. Sorry, that's just gone out of focus. So again, on this door edge, no damage. And again, I point this out because sometimes the seat belts are shut, uh, the doors are shut, the seat belts hanging out the side and they can put stab marks in this outside edge. And of course, none of that on this car. Really lovely. Everything is so clean. And these door shuts, again, no damage. I'm trying to keep this in focus if I can. Absolutely gleaming. And then the rear of the driver's seat, no feet marks, no damage down there. Absolutely beautiful. And this lever, it's almost like not been sat in doesn't really have any creases at all. And in the flesh, if you want to call it that, when you're actually looking at this lever, it's, it's more toned down. It's not quite as orange as it looks on camera. It's a much richer color than the, the color you're seeing on the camera. It's a nicer color is probably the best way to put it. So, We've got a little button on the outside of the door handle. Let me just come around, let's get this in focus. So by pressing this, I think it's that one. Oh no, sorry, my mistake, that's where the key is. It's this little, that's what I couldn't see. There's a little grated bit just in here. That locks, oh, let's get it in focus again. Come on, focus. That locks the car. When you put your hand in, that unlocks the car. I just turned the lights off that we put on. And we've got the memory buttons for the seat up on the top of the door card here. Two memory settings. I think that'll do the um, mirrors as well. Harman Kardon speakers. And then we've got a boot release button there. We've also got the folding mirror button. And depending which side you leave this button here, the near side mirror will auto dip. And uh, going back to those Galvan embellished, embellished <laughs> controls, I think that's the finish that we've also got all around on all of these buttons, from what I can make out. And then if we look, we've still got the blue sticker on this side. No damage, no scratching. You can obviously see the next owner can take those off. We could have took them off, but I think it just goes to show how the car was looked after. They didn't want to take them off. They wanted to keep the car as nice as they could. Obviously very proud of their cars. Let's just check out the driver's seat. And you can see, again, I'm just going to move very slowly down. 
so it stays in focus. The leather is in beautiful condition. No scratches, no marks. Really lovely. And you've got this merino leather stitched just around that center console there. Can you see that? It looks really lovely. And then we've got the extended storage cubby hole at the front, which when it's not there is quite annoying really, to be honest. You'd, you'd imagine that they'd all have that, but you need to have the extended storage to have that. Great pedals, all the carpets in really nice condition again. And the lever around the steering wheel, no dig marks. Nothing nasty on there. I think what we'll do, we'll jump in. Let's just pull the door to it. We're gonna start the car up. So we've got the keyless start here, put on the brake. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but it does sound really nice. Let's just open that door up. So currently it's in normal mode. Oh, so that was our camera just started up, dash camera. So we're currently in normal mode. We've got door open. So I'm just gonna give it a little rev. Now if we then put it into Sport, or Sport Plus, we'll give it a rev now. Just hear that little burble as it comes down off the revs. It might be quite hard to hear on the camera, but it's got a lovely sound. It sounds like the M140s, if not better, to be honest with you. Right, we'll shut that door. Just gonna basically film things as I remember them. So there's your light switches, um, parking lights, front and rear fog lights there. And really, let's keep this in focus. So we've got the digital professional cockpit. And as you can see, we've gone into Sport or Sport Plus, which is just showing down below the P in the bottom there. So if we put it back into, I'll best show you what we're actually changing. So we have Eco Pro Comfort Sport. This is the adaptive suspension, as I was saying about the shock absorbers uh, are valved. We also also have um, M Sport differential on this car as well. So we're going to go into Eco Pro, and this gives you the economy settings. It also, you can configure it here. Let me just turn that radio down before we stop the YouTube channel. Now you can configure this here, standard, individual. Now if you go into configure individual. You've got your economy items that you can change, your coasting, climate, for the seats so that is as well, um, Eco Pro light and sight, exterior mirror window heating reduced, route head assistance, so it's going to tell you what you're coming up to so you can prepare to drive more economically I guess. And then this is where you've got your damping, your steering control uh, option, sorry. So you can put it into sport on the damping if you want to stay in uh, the economy mode but want a sportier ride. We'll flip that back to comfort actually because that's probably where most people would have it. But you might want the steering more responsive on sport. So you've got lots of um, options there. If we go into comfort. Now straight away, this is a more balanced setting and also our display over here has changed. Now I've just realised someone's been kind enough to leave the heating on 28 degrees. So let me just get that down for starters. <laughs> Before I bake. Right, lovely. So we've got uh, the setting back in comfort. If we go into sport, the dials then change. We've got the speed on the left. We've got gear selection. If I just pop it into gear quickly. And then if you go into sport, moving the gear stick over to the left, you go into the S mode. As soon as you pull a paddle, you go into your M mode, 
for manual. And uh, while you're in sport uh, settings, it won't go back into manual unless you pull the gear stick back over to the right. And that puts you back into drive. Let me just put it back in park. We don't want to suddenly lurch forward. So we go back into the sport. And then again, if we go back to the uh, display over here, we've got standard plus an individual and you can configure damping steering and the engine so the performance so you could have it in sport plus the transmission you can also change so the, the gear selection i guess it's going to be how how quick the selection is as well and comfort for a more relaxed gear change I think that's going to be quite sharp in Sport Plus. That, uh, we'll put transmission. We've got three options. Let's go in the middle. Engine. If it's in the Sport mode, we want it in Sport Plus, don't we? Steering. Sport. Yeah. Damping. Yeah, definitely got to be in Sport. So all of that there. And obviously, when you go into the Plus mode. Um, it takes off part of the traction control. Oh no, we don't have that option on here. So it goes back, it goes through to sport because we've got those, because we can adjust the settings, I guess. Yeah, so there isn't, uh, I guess, so we can press the traction light if we want to take off part of the traction. And then if we press and hold the traction, it then takes the other. So you've got dynamic traction control and dynamic stability control. And just down in front, we've got the traction control button. So you press it once, it turns off dynamic traction control. Press and hold it for a few seconds, turns off the DSC, the dynamic stability control. Now this is all touch screen, and you can move all of these windows around. It's a really nice size screen. Before I forget, I do wanna bring you just up onto here and show you the heads up display. So using the buttons on the left of the steering wheel, we're not gonna get a very good image from here because of the car in front, but basically using, let's just zoom out, the plus, uh, sorry, the scroll button in the middle, which you can press to enter and the mode button. So let's just zoom back in on here. Now you can see the speed, I press mode, uh, I think that's the DAB channels. Press it again, FM, AM, music collection. It's usually about an 80 gig hard drive. And then um, if you've got your phone connected, press the phone and it will show you the last dialed numbers. This will also show you um, navigation. Now, if we come back down here, those of you that didn't realize the video was going to be so long you might want to pause it and get a drink maybe some popcorn now what we'll do we're going to my vehicle i drive settings we've also got gesture control on this one but we want to do the displays first of all so this is your heads up display and as you can see you can adjust the brightness turn it up you can adjust the height and the rotation so basically if the view looks a bit ski with like that you can turn it around and get it straighter and you can have standard a reduced if you look over here you'll see the options and then individual which you can set up with entertainment in fact if we click on individual check control measure telephone so you can put a few extra bits in there as well so we'll come out of there. Okay, so gestures. So basically up above, up here, there is a little camera. And as you can see, by moving the display, you can display tips. So if we go to say climate, I'm guessing, trying to remember this oh, is LED. there you go 
So spinning your finger around. From global seas room at five o'clock. So you, you sort of use your hand as a gesture to do the controls. We won't go through all that because I can't remember them all off the top of my head. I'll probably look a bit silly trying to do that on the video. So let's just come down here and you can see those really lovely dials and controls. And we've got dual climate control, the heated seats, menu. Ah, so we've got a menu button that does up here. Let's turn that down. So we didn't have a menu. You've got a synchronised button to synchronise both sides of the heating. But um, we never had this menu button before, so we can go into this setting here. Seat heating. So basically, automatic activation. So we can set a temperature that if the temperature fall, if it falls below this temperature, it'll automatically put your heated seats on for you and you can set what level of heat you want. Very nice. And then we've got all the dab, screen mirroring for your phone, manage mobile devices. So very easy to take them out. Uh, let's just go. I'm looking at the camera really, I should be looking over here. So if you wanted um, Apple CarPlay, that can be fitted in the car, it has all the options there for that. And the other thing, if we push this forward down here while well, I remember, got a really nice M badge down there, and this is where you can charge your phone. And the nice thing about that, it will do the plus phones because the chargers that used to be in the center armrest would not take uh, an iPhone Plus, for example. And you've got a little USB there and uh, nice clean. It's there. And then in here, we've got a really big cubby hole. I'm just trying to think. Now, if we come down here, we've got the heel descent button. A little bit more. We've got auto hold, the iDrive wheel, gear stick. Now, there is so much in here. I think if you've got any questions on if there's anything on the car, please just give us a call because I might have missed some bits. We've also got. Um, you know, it senses if your driving is a bit erratic and you can change the sensitivity of it. We've got parking, automatic parking, park assist. And then this button here, this is for your pedestrian alert. So alert you if a pedestrian comes out in front of you. Um, we've also, you can change the collision warning on the car as well. Just trying to see, we've got the speed limiter cruise control here. I think if we come back out of there, driver profiles. I think most people will know, oops, sorry, we're out of focus. X drive status sport. So you can basically, it tells you the angle of the car, etc. Well look, what we'll do now, we're gonna jump out. Or oh, I'm gonna jump out. Oh, we didn't show you the rear camera, did we? So let's just pop that on quickly. So we've got rear camera. This is where you'll find the parking option as well. Rear view camera, on or off, brightness, obstacles, settings for brightness. Automatic PDC activation, active PDC emergency. Right, this one here. So it's got emergency brake intervention in certain parking situations when reversing. Well, this happened to Darius earlier when we were moving the car around and it suddenly stopped. And it was because he'd got not too close to a car, but the parking sensors had picked up and it had gone into the red and uh, put the car into park. Put the brake on as well. Okay, so let's come round and we're going to pop the bonnet. Two pulls. 
I'm gonna lift up the bonnet. Make sure it's in focus. Is that in focus? Very hard to see. Well, there we go. Absolutely gleaming under here. There's a lot of light coming in from above. Maybe if I come around this way. Let me just reset the light on the camera by just doing that. All lovely and clean, all cleaned by hand by the guys. So as I say, just under, just shy of 350 brake horsepower. I really don't know what's going on with the light under here, but um, really lovely. Oh, schoolboy error. Didn't put the bonnet down properly. <laughs> okay, so thank you for taking time to watch the video. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My name's Scott, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, tell you any more about the uh, vehicle. We have lots of uh, finance options, PCP, hire purchase, and lease purchase. And we have some really fantastic warranty options as well. So thanks for watching. We look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye.